Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a delicious stew with clams, potatoes, white beans and chorizo. So let's begin. Okay then, so today um, I've got everything chopped up. So my apologies if you expected some chopping action. Um, so I've got about a quarter of a red pepper, another quarter of green pepper, about three garlic cloves. I've got some, about two potatoes, finely diced. Got my kilo of clams. The white beans, jaw ones. And the chorizo, which I've cut into... I've cut it lengthways and then into pieces. Okay, so first things first, let's turn this on and I'll turn up to number seven and I'll just add some, a bit of olive oil, about two, but three tablespoons of olive oil and we shall wait for that to heat up. Right, so once the oil is hot, or nearly hot, um, what I'll do, that's, oh, that's not the to taste here today, I'm going to chuck in the peppers, garlic, and keep that here on the side, and the chorizo. And we'll just gently fry it there until it's all soft and until the chorizo has shed its juice. Alright, so once this is nicely softened up and the chorizo has shed its juice, lovely, what I shall do is add the stock cube, the fish stock cube, sprinkle it there. I'll add the teaspoon of sweet paprika and the tomato Oops. I'll give it a move Stir it out, mix it in together. Going to add a little bit of water. So that it will mix better. And then I will add the potatoes in. Next, I will cover it with water, cover them with water, so it's about, I reckon about 400 ml of water I've used, all in all, and still on number 7, I'll just cover it up and leave it there for 20 minutes. Well, then 20 minutes have flown past, so let's have a look at this. Mm, the sauce is thickening up nicely. Looks really colourful, doesn't it? You know what? For those that know me, you don't know how hard it is today. It's very tempting to add my yellow food colourant, especially as I've got a brand new one without being opened. Whee. But I think it looks good like this, doesn't it? It's got a nice colour from the paprika and the tomato. So first thing is first, and that is to do a salt check. It's going to be hot. Mmm, beautiful. No salt needed. 
I'm saving on salt lately, aren't I, with these broths and stock cubes. Oh, and the other thing, stab check. Al dente. So the next step will be to add the white beans and that will slow the cooking, the boiling process right down. Just mix them in, mix them in. Look at that, beautiful isn't it? You could just eat it like this. If you haven't got any clams, just eat it like this. Beans, potatoes and chorizo. Beautiful dish. So I'll cover that back up again. I'm not going to bother turning the heat up or anything. I'm just going to leave it there for 10 minutes. So it'll be about 3 or 4 minutes until it starts to boil. And then about 5 minutes boiling time. So I'll be back. Oh, and it's even more tempting to add these cayenne peppers. I love these. But if I did add them, I think I'll be in the doghouse for a week. Well, 10 minutes have gone by. And this is thickening up nicely. Just how I like it. Don't forget that once I add the um, clams in, some water, sea water, will come out of it. So next step is to I'm gonna add some parsley in, and I'll leave some for pushing up. So let's chuck these in. I'm gonna tear them about a bit. Look, they're opening already. The boiling process has stopped completely. So, what I'm going to do is, come on, I'll just cover this up and leave it there for about five minutes until it stops, starts to bubble and then I'll turn it off. So, this is just about starting to boil. It's looking really nice. The clams have fully opened. The water has come out. Luckily, because else it would be as dry as a bone. But can always be sorted by adding a bit more water to it. So, I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn, oops, not the light. That off as well. And I'll just cover it. And leave it there until it stops bubbling before pushing it up. Well, so here's today's lunch. I'm not going to serve it up on a dish or anything. I'm just going to leave it here. So let's add a bit of parsley, just to push it up slightly. Give it a bit more extra colour. And there you go. Well, I hope that you enjoyed today's recipe video. Um, thank you very much for watching. Um, leave me a comment. And I look forward to doing my next cooking video. Thank you very much and goodbye.